I've looked everywhere on YouTube on these already got speedometers for the ATVs and I couldn't find nothing. As you can see, mine's in rough shape. It was lighting up red. You can see the moisture inside the speedometer. So I took the speedometer off the bike. I figured I'm already in this Jeep. You know, I'm at the point of, you know, if I can't fix it, I'll buy a new one. But mine was lighting up. This guy had glued that back on there. Which, you know, it gave it a little bit of distance. So it was kind of shorting out. So I noticed all this glue on here. So I said, well, I might as well take these four screws out. Which I took the four screws out. Which then pops. But I kind of got to be gentle here. Pops out the back of your speedometer. Now I'm just going to take a quick close look. I don't know how good my camera's going to get. But to see if it got any moisture in here. And why it's not working. Or if it's just a connection problem. So the back side seems to be okay. And then you pop this over and you get your front side of your screen here. Now you got your chip on your front side. So this little black plastic piece, sorry I'm doing this on my phone. This pops out here. And you're left with the screen in that. Now you're thinking, how the heck am I gonna get that off? Well, if you look at these little tabs in here, this will come off so you just push in the tabs very gently pushing these tabs right there and then ooh, close call then you have your screen and you have your inner chip and that that connects right here along this you'll see that right there that's just like a tether that runs along, it feels like rubber, but I'd probably say it's something not. Now that connects to that there, along there. Now I just want to take a look at this here and uh, see if, as I can see, we got some corrosion in there. I'll check and see if they're burnt. I figure at this point, what have I got to lose? That one's rusted, so. I'm gonna clean them up as best as I can to see if I can get a connection back to it, put just a little bit of clear coat on it. But that's the inside of an Articat speedometer. Again, mine was lighting up. I finally got it to light up the screen itself. And the screen's powered. It's very simple actually on here. You don't have to be mechanically inclined at all. There it says LED4, uh, LED2, LED6. So the LEDs are lighting up. It's just to get the fuel, which would run along here on your screen, and your speed. So that's what I'm trying to get right now. I've got light, but hey, I had nothing. And as you can see, it didn't even bother. They literally didn't even get into the speedometer. They, they, they put the heat silicone here, and you know what? The exhaust actually needed heat silicone, so I don't know why they put heat silicone on the speedometer right against the glass, obviously. That's a smudge mark. I wouldn't say these guys were anything close to mechanics or small engine mechanics, just judging by what I see here and the broken piece of the bracket off in here and the glue. Not something you'll see me do. But anyway, that's taking it apart. I'm gonna blow dry it for a bit. I'm gonna let it sit out for about, about, an, about uh, probably a day. And then, um, well, overnight at least. Blow dry, I'm gonna clean that out with a toothbrush, dry toothbrush, and then see if those connections, some of them might be burnt. Hey, I might only get fuel, I might get nothing. I might just get a red screen again. But what do I have to lose by doing this demonstration? I'm gonna take part in an Articat speedometer. Now, with taking that speedometer apart, you will need to take it off the bike and you'll need your Torx. That's the four volt screws. Oop, almost lost one, the four here. And they just screw now the way, best way not to lose them because as you can see this guy's lost a few things already for me so you know we're just trying to just do it yourself right you're just gonna put them back in and i'm gonna snug them up so anyway this is our first video on how to uh try and get this digital articat speedometer back to life do it yourself style